the car waxing, I, I always wanted as a young kid to go into the real estate business or to carry a briefcase, wear a suit and tie, have a lot of money. And I figured real estate was it because it was a natural for me to come back and redevelop my community. But, but it really solidified once I really got close to some real estate guys. And I would go up and wax these guys' cars. And they all had drop top Cadillacs. The whole place was loaded up. And back in 1669, that was it. You had to have your Cadillac. Motown? That was Motown. The peak of Motown. Oh, man. Deuces and a quarter. Yeah. 98 O's, drop top. Eldorado. Tops, Motown music. Yeah. Man, that was some days. But I said, this guy was Bernie Gleberman. I said, Mr. Gleberman, what is it that you do? Real estate. And these guys were the king. You know, they walked in, they were building homes all over the place. I said, well, look, I want to work for you, all right? Actually, they didn't hire me, yeah. you understand? But that's okay. Because uh, I was waxing their cars, you know. And they said, you're going you're to go from a car waxer. So I did go to Bowers Realty. But I, there's an interesting story. People who go into real estate business, they failed the test once, they quit. People who go into business and pass, only 20% of them stay. So even the ones that pass the first time, only 20% of them stay after like two months, I mean two years, they're out. Some of them do a little part time and if they don't catch on enough, they drop it. But they uh, license in escrow for three or four years. After a while, they just, ah, I tried it once and that's it. But the first time I took the test, I failed the test because I had an instructor that was telling me they're gonna fool me. He said, you think that's the answer, but it ain't that's the answer. I said, oh, that's the answer. I said, they fooled me. Well, they really wasn't fooling me. I, I failed once. And then I, I went back and took it again, and I failed twice. Mm. And then you had to wait six months after you failed. And there I cried again. I got on the curb, and I said, I'm going to do this. Okay. And that maybe was April, and I went to Bowers Realty and asked, could I, you know, work? Would what she teach me? One of the first examples of taking that adversity and turning it into right. a burning desire. I had a burning desire. It was a burning desire. It was it, 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 it was uh, the uh, it was there to be motivated by negative energy. You could be motivated by negative energy. Uh, the Art of Intimidation is a very interesting book. I, I read that book many many times. I forgot who the author was, but the Art of Intimidation was one great book that I kept reading and reading and reading along with Think and Grow Rich. I must have read that six or seven times. You know, every morning I get up, yeah, I'll be humming. I walk in the hall, yeah. Until they say, Mr. Shelley, let's go with your voice. Said, okay, you know, they, they said, well, look at this guy. You know, I just, I was just ready for it, you know. Uh, but she taught me, she said, look, just answer the question. They're not trying to fool me. They're okay. So I answered the question. I passed, 90 some percent. But now that summer, I was 19 years old, and I didn't know. I want to tell you something. If you don't know you can't do it, you'll do it. Right. But pretty soon you figure out you can't do it, then you can. But it's best to do it when you don't know you can do it. You could read my book, go straight out and do it. And you say, look, that was so easy. You know, getting rich is easy. But then if you get too smart, then you can't do it. You understand? Because you, you're going to outsmart yourself. It's simple. But I was a lister. That means I listed the property and there was a seller. I didn't sell, I just listed. I became the number one lister in entire Detroit at 19. By the time people came back after their summer vacation, it was over. I was number one. I didn't know I couldn't do 35 listings a month because nobody told me. They're, the top person did 10. I did two or three a day. I didn't plan to do two or three. Some days I may hit, miss. But I go back out at night and grab me one. 